Registered dietitian Sarah Robbins has been hard at work here in our Builder Source kitchen and she's been cooking up a tasty and healthy meal and I love being able to put those two words together. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the best? So before we get to the barbecue chicken that we're talking about, yes. let's talk a little bit about the American Dietetic so Association's Eat Right with Color because mm -hmm. that's a really interesting concept and you can tell us about that. Right. So. March is National Nutrition Month, yes. and the American Dietetic Association is urging Americans to eat right with color. Mm. And really what that means is going back to basics, Okay. and if you're looking at your plate and you're looking at your whole day, you really want to include the most low-fat and non-fat dairy foods, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains that you can throughout the day because okay. those are the types of foods that most Americans aren't getting enough of. And we hear that all the time and you know you can say things over and over but there's a reason we're hearing it all the time. It's true. Mm -hmm. It really makes sense. By the way I love the little shopping cart. Yes. <laughs> I love it. So you're incorporating color between the fruits and the vegetables? Right. And that's real and, and you're incorporating healthy and that's a huge deal. <laughs> Because a lot of times you see, you know, you see food and you're saying, well, you know, I don't know if I want to eat something that's really that good for me. I don't think I'll be totally satisfied. Maybe I should just go to the chocolate. But hey, the chocolate's just a very boring color, really, after all. <laughs> well, you know, there's always room for chocolate as well. But we want to make sure that we're getting a variety of colors because colors is really where the nutrients come from. Absolutely. So when you're looking at green, it's, it's you know, going to help you with antioxidants. Uh, blue helps with your memory, mm -hmm. all of those things. So you want to include a variety of colors every day. Okay. And so w when you look at a plate like this one right here, mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot of healthy foods. You have some yeah. baked chicken, some potatoes, and some lettuce. Most people would think that's a really healthy dinner, and of course yes. it is. Yes, um, I would think that would be the, like a winning choice if you were showing what we should be eating. That's what I would assume, right. naturally. Uh -huh. But let's take this and let's kick it up just a little, a little notch so okay. that we can paint our plate. I like that. And eat right with color. Perfect. So we're going to actually make a um, barbecue chicken and cheddar. Okay. And so you just take some foil, so easy cleanup for all you moms out there. That's a huge thing. A little barbecue sauce, put that on the bottom, right on there. Okay. You're going to take your chicken and put it right on top. So just a plain boneless, skinless cutlet? Boneless, skinless cutlet. Okay. Throw in your veggies. And what's also cool is you can um, do any kind of vegetables. You could also do more than even just uh, these red potatoes that I have here. You could even mm. do sweet potatoes. Oh, give a little orange. Exactly. So you can really, you can do this based on preference and just kind of have your own little smorgasbord of fun. That's right. Okay. So then add a little bit more barbecue sauce on top. Mm -hmm. You're going to cook it in a 350 degree oven okay. for about 35 minutes. And you're just rolling it up in the foil. That's it. Roll it up in the foil. Put it on a pan. I'm actually going to come back here and grab the yes, go to the it. magical cooked one. I mean, Sarah, it doesn't really get much easier than that. You take a piece of foil, you put a little barbecue sauce, a plain cutlet before you've even cooked it, some vegetables that you like, and then you roll it up. I mean, that's to me, that is cooking 101. And that's there's right. nobody that could not do that. So you take it out of the oven, and here we go. You put <gasps> some cheese so on good. there. And then throw it back in the oven. We already have the cheese melted oh, on there. Amazing. What a good smell that is. <gasps> there we go. Ooh. And then you've taken your your chicken. You've you still have all the vegetables. You okay. have your potatoes that you had on there. Mm. And then you add it with this nice spinach salad with some pine nuts and some cranberries. I love <laughs> pine nuts and cranberries together. So when you look at this plate and you you see, you know, it's the same foods. That's amazing, actually. You're right. It's the exact same foods, but it's just spiced up a little bit. The only difference is the cheese, really. Right. And what you've done is, is you want to eat that. Uh, and you want yes. to enjoy it as well. And so here you have the same foods, and you're eating healthy. It's amazing. And getting all those nutrients and those food groups that a lot of Americans aren't getting. And you said you cooked that 35 minutes in the oven? 35 minutes in the oven. So simple. That's mm -hmm. so simple. Now, I want to go back to something else because you actually are the program coordinator for Dairy Max. So, what is Dairy Max for people who don't know? Dairy Max is part of the National Dairy Council. Okay. And uh, we provide nutrition education to schools and other um, organizations around New Mexico okay. about the benefits of dairy foods and um, also as a registered dietitian, which today is Registered Dietitian Day. So hug oh. your dietitian. Oh, okay. Happy, happy <laughs> Dietitian Day, Sarah Robin. <laughs> I love it. And so, you know, it's really just about 
how we can, as New Mexicans, start to eat right, mm -hmm. be healthy, and enjoy, um, you know, eating the things we love exactly I mean it's so interesting because when I moved here I did find myself quickly gaining weight and that's because there are so many unhealthy choices but the truth is there's so much good food between beans between cheese and all the things we're eating mm -hmm. but there's a way to eat those foods and still enjoy New Mexican cuisine and still be healthy and I love that there's that option mm -hmm. and Definitely. people like you can teach us about that and you actually have a top 10 list right mm -hmm. a top 10 list of why people should consult a dietitian so tell us some of the things on that list. So registered dietitians can really provide, you know, affordable, practical nutrition information, mm -hmm. and they are there to, you know, talk about anything from weight loss to how to navigate the grocery store to diabetes management, wow. any of those things. So important. Mm -hmm. And as a registered dietitian, we have a degree, an undergraduate degree mm -hmm. in nutrition, and we've gone through a supervised practice program and then taken an exam. Right, so you're highly qualified. Yes, and so that's what you really want to look for when you're seeking nutrition advice is okay. someone who has an RD at the end of their name. RD, that's important mm -hmm. because a lot of times we'll just ask people, they might be in good shape, and we'll say, well, what, what are we supposed to be eating? You know, and somebody like you can really tell you with a background, an actual medical background of mm -hmm. understanding what that would be. Now, if we go back to what you just made let's talk a little bit about this specific dish how many calories are we talking how much fat are we talking in something like this it's about 290 calories hmm. four grams of fat that's not bad at all mm -hmm. exactly for that right there and um, so you're really looking at a nutrient-rich plate because you're getting from these you're getting those four food groups that we've talked about yes. because you have the cheese the chicken and and all of the vegetables on there too that's perfect and going back to that if you're going through your daily you know your daily routine and you want to stick to a certain caloric diet and you're thinking well what's what would you say would be the typical if you're eating a meal like this would you want to stick within a certain range what's the typical range for a meal like a dinner for instance you know you're really looking at about five hundred to seven hundred calories so that's perfect that's mm -hmm. below mm -hmm. so then you can actually squeeze in a little dessert exactly and she's always good right dessert is always key when we want to enjoy a healthy diet oh um, yeah because you know you don't want to avoid any kind of food you know right. I really say that there's two kinds of food okay there's uh, the foods that give you nutrients okay definitely these right here and then there's foods that feed your soul so you need chocolate, those too. cake you need those too because your diet is more than just the nutrients on the plate. It's but, about enjoying food mm -hmm. and enjoying the company around you. And maybe feeding your soul, you just want to do it in moderation, just a little bit. Right. <laughs> now, if you want to get a hold of Sarah, it's very simple. Here is how you do it. The office number is 255-0000, cell phone 258-3194, and the website is www.dairymax.org. Org. And that's how you can get a hold of this lovely woman that's standing next to me who's... And then maybe you can give her a hug, too. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't promise that to our viewers. That could get a little scary. She's pretty. So <laughs> if you want Sarah's recipe, just log on to casa.com, and we'll have that recipe for you up. And you can make this for dinner tonight. We'll be back after the break, and I'll be tasting. Great. Looks good. Good.